Hi, everybody. Ever since the internet was created, it's been organized around basic principles of openness, fairness, and freedom. There are no gatekeepers deciding which sites you get to access. There are no toll roads on the information superhighway. This set of principles, the idea of net neutrality, has unleashed the power of the internet and given innovators the chance to thrive. Abandoning these principles would threaten to end the internet as we know it. That's why I'm laying out a plan to keep the internet free and open. And that's why I'm urging the Federal Communications Commission to do everything they can to protect net neutrality for everyone. They should make it clear that whether you use a computer, phone, or tablet, internet providers have a legal obligation not to block or limit your access to a website. Cable companies can't decide which online stores you can shop at or which streaming services you can use. And they can't let any company pay for priority over its competitors. To put these protections in place, I'm asking the FCC to reclassify internet service under Title II of a law known as the Telecommunications Act. In plain English, I'm asking them to recognize that for most Americans, the internet has become an essential part of everyday communication and everyday life. The FCC is an independent agency, and ultimately this decision is theirs alone. But the public has already commented nearly four million times asking the FCC to make sure that consumers, not the cable company, gets to decide which sites they use. Americans are making their voices heard and standing up for the principles that make the internet a powerful force for change. As long as I'm president, that's what I'll be fighting for too.